How to cash out on Phantom Wallet. Hey people, welcome to this new video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you to cash out your cryptos into real money and send it into your bank account. So there are a few things that we need to take in mind before we start. And the first thing is that we can't do that directly from Phantom because this is a wallet. When you have a crypto wallet, you need to send a wallet to a specific exchange so you can trade your cryptos into your local currency or the currency of the bank that you want to make the trade. In this case, I have Solana. And let's say I want Solana into my bank account. And the bank account that I'm using is a bank from Mexico City. So Mexico City operates with something called Mexican Peso which is this one right in here. So what I want to do is to find an exchange that works with the Mexican coin. So let's say I am on Binance exchange and I go into Mexican and I go into Wetro. If you have a Binance account and you're here in the Wetro fiat, you need to go into select currency. I can withdraw euros, Australian dollars. There are a lot of things that I can, even dollars. And I can make a bank transfer, but as you can see the fee it's too high for me. It's $15 of the fee. But let's say you want to select this one and you go to continue. Uh, what's going to happen is that if you are on the United States, maybe you won't see this alert. This payment method is currently unavailable in my region because I'm in Mexico City. So if you are related into what's happening with me, we want to find an exchange that works in our region. In this case, that would be Beto. Because Bitso is from Mexico actually. So what you want to do is to go into your wallet and send all the tokens into the exchange that you can use for the transfer to your bank. So I'm going to go into send Solana and I need an address received. So I need to go back into my exchange and select here Solana. So as you can see Bitso does not work with Solana. So what I can do is to convert Solana into something that works into Bitso. And I'm going to use USDT because it works for every single exchange. And let's say I want to do that right now. So I go into review order. I make the swap. And after I make the swap, the last thing I just need to do is to go in here and select USDT. So I'm going to go into deposit. And I'm going to copy the address that would be in here and I'm going to paste it on my phantom wallet and after i've done that i just need to go into next which in this case just it won't let me kiss this one is solana and i don't have enough solana to convert it into usdt but after you make the confirmation you're gonna see something like this every exchange have this history transaction so as you can see i have a lot of transactions since here and the last one that i've done a few months ago is gonna show up like this so after you made the transactions, sometimes you need to make or wait till your transfer has been confirmated by 13 parties because that's the way it works on the cryptocurrency world. So you can see the deposit with the exact date, the status, the amount of the token and the total. And the last thing you want to do is to go into your wallet of the exchange that you're using and you need to convert the token that you received into the currency that your bank allows which in my case, that would be the Mexican peso. And after you've done with that, the last thing you want to do is to go into send. My exchange works with PayPal. So for me, it's really easy to send this money into my PayPal account. So it would be automatically sent into my bank. Using another kind of exchanges like Binance, you can do exactly the same thing. You just need to remember that sometimes these exchanges cost us a few take a few of the cost fee of the transaction so be aware of that so there you have it guys just need to look for the right exchange to send it to your bank or to a paypal account and then it will be automatically sent into your bank account hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this kind of stuff thank you for watching this video and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one